Per request, today I'm going to be doing a flounder from the Little Mermaid inspired look. This has been requested since I made the channel by my dear friend Jasmine. And we're going to see how this goes. Now I already took and did a base. Um, so I primed, I put on my foundation, and I put on some eye primer. Um, we're going to get started. The reason I did that was... Thank you, Dobby. The reason I did that was it is a pain in the ass to edit these videos. Um, I have a lot of respect now for the YouTuber after having to edit the first one. So we're going to see how this goes. Dobby, behave. Clearly he hasn't behaved because this was broken already. Great. Alright, so flounder is yellow and blue. So those are the colors I'm going to be working with. I'm going to grab my Ace Beauty Vintage Dawn palette that I got in my BoxyCharm. Cat. No, don't jump up there. He's looking up at the big lights and he's like, Ooh. <sighs> He's cute, but a lot of trouble. Alrighty, I'm just gonna go in. Um, I'm going in with Daybreak. He was sitting there going, meow, meow, meow. Oh, there's a lot of fallout on the face, too. We'll go in and touch that up after. Do the other. Okay. Now, I'm going to go into my Brenton Rock Wet n' Wild palette. I'm going to grab Deeper. This color. There's no mirror. I forgot about that with this palette. Alright. I'll fix it later. Now I have one hooded eye and one non-hooded eye, so everything tends to look a bit different, um, no matter what makeup look, depending on which eye it's on. So I'm gonna go in and Dobby, what you doing? Hmm? Meow. Meow. What do you want flounder for dinner? Oh, who, I personally loved The Little Mermaid when I was a kid. I would take and watch it incessantly, much to my mother's chagrin. Uh, <laughs> and if she dared fall asleep, I would just take and go, open your eyes, mommy, and literally open her eyes. Having children must be so much fun. I'm sure, especially during this pandemic. Let's see here. Just blend, blend, blend. You don't want to have so much of a, a Mimi look from the Drew Carey show. Let's see here. And then I'm going to go in with just the liquid eyeliner that has a fine point anyone will do. Uh, this one's waterproof. Let me... Yes, Dobby, can I help you? <sighs> okay. Uh, you know what, I'll take this up before I do the next step. Um, cause we're not, we're not leaving the eye, sh the eyeliner like this. So I'm gonna take and just go back in with my foundation. All the places that got a little full. Oh. 
I'm so glad he's reminding me right now that <laughs> I neglected to take down that Christmas decoration. Putting bells on all the doors seems like such a great idea in December. Not so great in May. to keep reminding myself not to put this directly in front of my face. It's not a natural thing to do. Alright. Okay. Okay, this actually and okay. Okay. Now, oh, that's right. I didn't want to use this for my whole eye. I just wanted to use it for the under part. I had a different brush ready for the eye. I will. So I just go back into that daybreak and sun and bring it right under. We're going to go back and clean this up some more, so don't worry. I'm just going to bring it over to here to make the blue. Oh. Shape, 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 shape it. There we go. Okay, now it's more wide than more. I also have this fun. NYX Professional Makeup Retractable Eyeliner in, I don't know, some sort of green shade. Aqua green. Perfect. Under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Darling, it's better. Down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Oh, I, still, I still love singing that song in the shower. Just get this right in your water line. Now. Okay. Now. Oh, I'm taking. Oh. Put on. False lashes which I'm terrible at, so we'll see how this goes. Now, I I don't know if it's that I have smaller eyes or what, but um, I can never get the lash to go like all the way over, so I actually take and attach them over more towards the middle only, so I cut them real short. Just a heads up on that. And I'm using magnetic lashes today. Here. Oh, why did I stay in place? I actually hate the eyeliner that comes with it, which is why I have done eyeliner and then I'm putting this over it. Also, you do not want to use this all over your eye. It runs, it burns, it's awful. I mean, it's green. There we go, and just let that dry. Oh, uh, well, that's dry. I'm gonna quickly do my brows. I'm using Glam Brow by Benefit, which I love. It was the first brow product that I really liked, and I just screwed it up. I'm really batting a thousand today. There we go. 
Um, it may, the reason I like this is because it makes for doing your brows very quick. It's an even application. I like the shape of my eyebrows, so I don't really do anything to them normally other than darken them up just a little bit or a lot of bit as in today. Not that shade for me. Anyway. Uh, these should be good now to pop on. And oh my gosh. <laughs> yep. Alright, we'll pop them on. Are you okay? No, oh. I will say these things are so cool. Also, I don't know if it's that I have watery eyes in the corners of my eyes or or what, but whenever I like would have the lash go all the way over like they they're supposed to. My eye would water, and halfway through the night, my eyelash eyelash would be popping off. Which is always fun. Also, if you want to freak out your your friends, what you can do um, if you're not using magnetic lashes and you have no intention of reusing your lashes when you're done wearing them, if you're at their house, instead of just throwing them in the garbage. Take them and place them under your surface, you know, somewhere that their leg will brush up against to scare the shit out of them. Yes, I've done this. It's quite fun. I highly recommend. You might want to make sure your friends can take a joke, though. Ugh. I've been blessed with friends that are good about practical jokes. Uh, and I have one friend in particular that is just so much fun to prank. Unfortunately, um, he lives very far away now, but in college, oh gosh, we did so many things to that boy. Not at some place important. It's all important. Oh, all right. It's so funny. Even though this is not a look I've ever worn before, I feel so much more like me now with makeup on my my war paint. That's what I call it. Call it. Not called. Call it. There we go. Going in with some brush. <laughs> This is, this is Cargo Cosmetics. They still think. No, no, this is old. But my favorite blush. I'm only using it right now because it's old and I kind of need to use it up. Um, oh god, it's so old. It's starting to get rusty on the container. I don't want to talk about how old this is. It still works. I say. Okay. Now, to contour. That's not what I wanted. There we go. Bronzer. It's a really swirl. Alright. And again, if you have a rounder face, you know. Bring the bronzer, bronzer up higher over your ear just to cut your face more. Blending brush. Hello, blending brush. Get your blend on, get your blend on. Get your blend on, get your blend on. <laughs> oh, I was gonna contour my nose. 
And now my battery died. So this has been quite, quite the malfunctions every time. Every time I'm in here and I film, things go wrong. Lights crash, my battery is dying. Good stuff. We're gonna mean terrible. Okay, so I said I was gonna contour my nose. Um, I'm gonna use these. Alright. So, yeah, I used to have Ipsy and Sephora, but I got way too many doubles of everything, which is great when you're first starting out your makeup collection, um, but not so great later on. Okay. Leave it like this, everything's fine. I usually just go in with my finger. There we go. Ooh, harsh line. How are you today? Okay. So, I don't do an extremely snatched nose. I, with being quarantined and at home, I started looking at my makeup collection and going through it to get rid of stuff. I have three different subscription boxes, right? I have Sephora, I have a BoxyCharm, and then I, I have a Walmart one that comes seasonally. Uh, I found some really nice products in there, actually. Don't hate. All right. It's like five bucks. It's worth it. Um, Nip stuff. Now, if you want to look tamer with this look, and yes, this is the this is the tamer version of this look that I'm about to show you. You can just go in right here with a nice little shiny lip gloss. This one is from Clinique. This is actually from the Walmart box. So you. Can you can stop right here. If you're looking for a tamer version of this look, my my flounder look from the Little Mermaid. Um, however, if you want to kick it up a notch, <laughs> um, this is one of those products products that I got. And I didn't know what I was going to do with it when I got it, but it was so pretty and it was on sale. So I had to, um, this is by Too Faced and let me here. beautiful, love it. Okay. Hair. Okay. So, hey, slap this on. I live in an area that we have lots of fun themed dance parties that happened. So I figured I'd be able to use this there at some sort of dance party. Unfortunately, the coronavirus hit. No dance parties, no gatherings, no nothing. So I have to make my own reasons to use shit. Makeup products. Hmm. Yeah, let's see here. Yes. So again, you can stop right here. This is good for you. This is this is the medium, I would say, extreme look for this. But if you want to take it further, stay tuned. All right. So all the stuff that we did here is about to be pointless. So what you're gonna do is go back into this palette. Went wild. Grab yourself a big. Beat brush. This might fall off in the middle of this. So go in, really circle it around in there, and 
then just start going out that face. Now you'll notice that this color, King of the Jungle, does not blend well at all. So you're going to need a lot of it. Oh my god. Oh, with those dance parties, I've done a lot of, we'll say extreme looks. Um, there's an under the, or I think it was beach themed. I just decided to make it under the sea themed and took and made myself into a mermaid. Now, when I do these more extreme looks where I'm taking eyeshadows, because I don't like working with face paints or anything like that. My pores do not react well to that. So, no uh, for sure poor shirt. Um, I do have some makeup palettes that I specifically use for those. They're generally ones such as those that I'm not that big a fan of. That I don't mind wait, basically wasting an entire color on my whole face. Now, if you were going to want to wear this look out and really want to set it in place, I would advise <laughs> skipping putting all that other shit on your, your face um, and just taking and going in with uh, a concealer, or not a concealer, a primer. clean here because that's where the highlighter was. That's actually, I actually kind of like that part. I don't know what practical application it would have in life. I mean, other than this, this is totally practical. Another thing that I like to do, I years ago off of Amazon when I was first learning to contour and I completely did not know what contour was. I bought this contour kit. It's got awful. Um, but it works really nicely as a um, as a base to put colors on top of if you're doing specific sections of your face. So for example, when I did um, the mermaid, I use this to, to put down a layer for stuff to cling to. Now, let's see here. Just use your finger, just, just go for it. Go all in. Now, of course, you can use uh, concealer for this. If you don't have some shitty palette of contour that you bought off of Amazon that you would never use for anything other than something like this. So we're gonna be a little, just a little, uh, not even. It's okay. I mean, this look is really mostly to um, be appreciated from afar. We are in quarantine. No one should be appreciating this look for at least six feet within distance of you. Just get rid of 
right in there. Ooh. Stuff is really goopy. This is going to do horrible things to my pores. Okay, once you do that, put on back to these, get into that shade again deeper. We're going full flip. <coughs> oh, God. We're going full flounder. Will be a floundering adult that looks like a fish, a Disney fish. Well, I'm looking at this and I don't completely hate it. I think that means I've I've been saying, oh, this is definitely gunking up my my brush, so I'll be getting a a nice strong bath after this. As as will I. And if you're looking to get noticed by that special someone, maybe you've just started dating someone or you're looking to catch someone's eye on Tinder or whatever the kids are using these days, gotta tell ya, this look will set you apart from the crowd. But, I mean, I think this really it adds to the I'm deranged look that we're going for here. Deranged and a big Little Mermaid fan. Maybe. Or a big gold dust. When you had a weird day. You always wanna, you always wanna bring it down to your neck, right? Actually, I'm going to stop right here because I do not want to ruin my shirt. There we go. How do you like my flounder? Extreme from the little, little bit of a... Hmm? I could be swimming along in the sea. Oh god. This burns. Okay, so I'm gonna go get this off my face now.